Hi everyone, in this problem we have two functions and the question is determine if they are inverse functions. So they will be inverse functions if the following happens. If you compute f og of x and you get x and this has to be true for all x and also if you compute g of of x and you get x and again this has to be true for all x so if both of these things happen, then yes, they are inverse functions. So if just one of these fails, the answer is no. So all we have to do is work these out. And if we get x in both cases, then we can just say yes. If even one of these is not true, we're done. And the answer uh, is just no. So let's do the first one, f o g and then of x. So what this means is that you write it like this, f of g of x. It's written in the order that you see it, so it's just fg, fg. So this is equal to f of, and now you just replace your g. So your g is this right here, negative one third x. So negative one third x. All right, so you just replace um, the inside with what it actually is. And then now we look at f, right? So f of x is 3 times x. So here, uh, this is our x, this whole thing. So it'll be 3 times negative 1 third times x, right? Because that's your x. So instead of 3x, it's 3 times that. And these cancel, and so we get negative x. Oh, but look, that's not equal to x, right? That's not good. So the answer is no. Right, they are not inverse functions. Again, if only one of these, if one, if any of these conditions fail, the answer is no. If they're both true, if you get x in both cases, then the answer is yes. I hope this video has been helpful.